James Gurkis. I was hell bent on going to college, so I was going to go to whatever school was going to take me. Uh, but I was fortunate enough that Columbia accepted me without a high school degree. I was this kid from Corona, Queens. I was 16 years old when I enrolled as a freshman. Uh, I was a commuter in 1976. I would say at least a third of the students were commuters. I loved having a general liberal arts education, and obviously the core is a fundamental part of that. I'm of Greek ancestry, so it was, you know, for me, it was interesting from that point of view. I was heavily involved in the course guide and wrote lots of reviews to the consternation of many professors who shall remain nameless. <laughs> because of my family circumstances, you know, leaving New York City was not a viable option. So I wanted to go to the best law school in New York City, being that happened to be Columbia. But for financial aid, I would not have gone to Columbia College and uh, I would not have gone to Columbia Law School. Uh, so that was the uh, single most important factor in my deciding that I should get involved. I have to say I really uh, have enjoyed uh, the last four or so years uh, being president of the Columbia University Club. We had, in conjunction with the uh, United Nations Association, the ambassador to the UN from uh, Germany came and spoke. The lecture in academic programming is a continuation of my higher education that began at Columbia College. Like CAA, the Columbia University Club of New York is the, I think, the only other Columbia-affiliated organization uh, you know, that is university-wide. All right, big smile, all that. First, I felt like I was in a Harry Potter movie, getting all dressed up in the robes and the things. I thought it was a lot of fun, uh, notwithstanding uh, 